You that girl. You look like that girl. You look like that girl. I love it. 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 Okay. and welcome back to my channel i am super excited for this video as you can see by the title we're gonna do a get ready with me show y'all my makeup and my outfit for a concert i'm super excited about it this is my first like makeup ish video back so yeah if you enjoy makeup and beauty and fashion content make sure you subscribe become part of the family and yeah let's not waste any more time get straight into this video Okay y'all, so I'm starting off with my brows. My brows are pretty much the easiest thing to do. However, they take forever to do. I don't know what that is about, but anyways, I'm going in with this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso to fill in my brows. Um, my brows are naturally pretty full, so it's not a lot of work to do. However, one of my brows is a little bit less tame than the other, so I have to like get them in line a little bit and make them not look as crazy. You want your brows to look like sisters and not twins or cousins and not sisters. I don't know. However the saying goes, you want them to look similar, but not like identical, okay? So, yeah, do what you do with your brows. I like to fill my in and keep it simple. Okay, so after I fit my brows in, I take this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 146.5 and I kind of go under my brow and put the concealer under there. And I'm also taking this concealer on top of my eyelid as well. I only do this when I'm doing eyeshadow, which I am for this look. And I'm taking a flat brush also to kind of like clean it up a little bit just so I can make sure it's nice and clean under my brow it doesn't look crazy and I just take that to kind of like create a smooth clean base you can also use eyeshadow primer instead of this but I do this and it works fine so then I'm going in with this real techniques brush it is a deluxe crease brush and I'm actually using it to buff out my concealer um, I like it to buff out the concealer it does not bother me but I am on the hunt for a different concealer brush so if you have a nice one that you really like let me know in the comments what it is okay so now that my brows and eyes are situated for right now I'm going on to my face and I'm starting off with this primer I'm using the elf hydro glip grip primer I'm using the one with niacinamide in it honestly I've used this one with I'm not sitting mad in it and it doesn't really make that much of a difference for me. I don't know. Um but yeah you can see it turning white a little bit because of my moisturizer. I don't know if it was moisturizer or sunscreen. Either way, I don't know what that was about. It usually does not do that. So I don't know what was the issue this day. But we worked it out. It wasn't really that big of a deal. But one thing about this primer, y'all, it does not play, okay? When it's on your skin, it's on your skin for real. Like, it's stuck like glue. And I really like this. I know it's a dupe um, for another brand. I can't think of it right now, but this worked for me, so I'm working with it. And now I'm setting this primer with my Maybelline Fit Me Press, Press Powder in the shade 355. Um, I just use this because it adds a little bit more coverage to my face. That way I don't have to do so much foundation. I learned this tip, a tip from watching Jackie Iron Us some years ago. And it's been in my toolbox ever since. So yeah, it works for me. And it does the job. Okay, so now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm using a lot of Maybelline products, y'all, okay? Um, I 
stick with what I like and yeah but I am on a hunt for a new foundation so if you are using a foundation that you enjoy let me know because I want to try some different foundations anyways this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 360 this is also the matte and poreless one um yeah I prefer this one over the dewy but I've used both so doesn't really matter it looks maybe a little bit off but i think this foundation shade does oxidize a little bit because it doesn't finish looking like that okay and this is also a shade that i have been using for forever um i should probably switch to a darker shade in the winter in the summertime when i'm a little bit darker tanner but honestly i don't know like it doesn't really make that much of a difference to me and sometimes the shade match is not what I need it to be. So I just do what I do with this one and it has been getting me far so far. And I'm just buffing this out with a, a foundation brush. This brush is from BH Cosmetics. Now I don't know if that company still exists, if they still sell brushes or makeup at all, but that tells you how long I've been in the makeup game, okay? So Alright, and moving on to concealer, I'm taking this same Maybelline Age Rewind um, concealer in the shade 146.5 once again. And I'm just putting that in the center of my face, so just under my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, in the middle of my forehead, on my chin, just to kind of like bring some more dimensions to my face. You look so crazy with your foundation on because you are basically erasing the dimension in your face. Like naturally I have dimension in my face and so you're contouring and highlighting to kind of bring that back. So you won't look like you wearing a mask, okay? So contour, highlight, bronze, whatever you gotta do so you can look normal. -ish. Okay, and now I'm going on top of that concealer with uh, my Maybelline 330 foundation, Fit Me foundation. I just did this because I felt like the concealer was a little bit darker, but that was kind of the same color, so it really didn't matter. You can really skip this. And then I go in with this cream blush. I use the Milani Cheeks Kiss brush in the same Cheeks Kiss blush. Oh my gosh, in the color Merlot Moments. I really like this blush. It's really pigmented, and yeah, it's that girl. Now I'm blending this, kind of buffing this foundation, this, not foundation, I'm buffing this concealer, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry y'all, I'm buffing this concealer out with that um, Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush before I'm going on top of it with my Real Techniques sponge. Um, I just like to buff it out first because if you put the sponge on there, and this is damp by the way, my sponge is damp, you kind of lose coverage so I kind of just do a little bit of buffing out with the sponge and not a lot but the brush does most of the job and so once I buffed it out under my eyes I immediately set my eye with um, translucent powder and I'm using the air spun powder I've tried the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I don't know I just it's not bad but like hmm I don't know, it really just didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. And Airspun has never done me wrong. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, the start of the show. Okay, I'm taking this um tra transition shade from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm putting it into my crease and a little bit on my outer corner because I want to make sure I am um uh, giving this I look a base, okay. And then after that, I follow up with my um, ABH Prism Palette, and I'm using the shade Parallel to go in, and I'm using that to darken up my crease. Now, I don't know if these palettes are still available. I think you can still get the Prism Palette. You just got to search a little bit for it. But I know for a fact that the Morphe 35B Palette is not. Um, you're going to have to get it used. I don't know how sanitary it is. 
but I tried to see if I can find some below I will if I can find some online I will link them but I don't know y'all you can really use any palette though don't matter just I just use it for the transition shade so yeah but this um parallel is this really pretty dark brown and I just put it in my crease I also could use like my contour but I wanted to use this parallel so yeah I'm just buffing that out and I'm using a Morphe eyeshadow brush well I don't know if it's eyeshadow or not but I'm using the Morphe brush and I'm using the Morphe 513 brush to kind of put that um shade into my crease and out corner and then I moved on to the shade eternal in that same APH prism palette and I'm putting it onto my eyelid kind of doing like a faux cut crease not a real cut crease because I didn't like actually cut my crease but a faux cut crease okay and I'm just using a flat angle brush for this And I did the same on the other side and then I just go back in with that parallel brown and kind of just put that into my outer corner a little bit more. And in my inner corner, I use the shade Pyramid. Um, I wet my brush a little bit just so I can get a little bit more pigment. I want it to pop a little bit more. And I put it all the way in my inner corner. And it kind of gave a slight cat eye look, which I really loved. I really loved it. It looks so pretty. And this is kind of like a sunset-ish kind of look. I love golds and bronze glam looks so those are usually my go-to areas when I want to go glam and then after I got the main eye <laughs> look done I went in with a small brush and a in the parallel brown to do like a faux liner um with that brown eyeshadow and kind of like tight line a little bit just along my lash line but I did not want to use the liner but I still wanted the effect and once I with both eyes I put my lash glue on top of my eyes um you can do you don't have to do this but I prefer to do this because my lashes hold better I went a day without doing this and my lashes was coming off just moving all kind of crazy and so once I put my lash glue on I go in with my mascara I'm using the Fenty Beauty mascara and hella thick and I'm using the blacked out I believe it's called um, mascara the black one so yeah and I really like this this is a really good mascara y'all and now I'm just going over this look um, my whole face with my pressed powder the Maybelline fit me 355 powder and I'm going over my whole face to kind of like move some of the excess powder get any of the eyeshadow fallout and just like go all over my face to kind of like Pull it together. Following it up, I use my contour, um, which is really just another pressed powder in the shade 375 by Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm taking it with my Morphe 530 M530 brush to kind of do my usual contour I don't know I'm not really a bronzer girl I haven't found one that I like um I don't want to look like red in the face I already have like these reddish kind of undertones a little bit so I don't want to be walking around like on the so recommend me some bronzers to try below and you can also see I'm putting that on my nose as well I'm just taking that same brush and kind of squeezing it making it look like a little fan and putting it down the bridge of my nose up to my eyebrows and then I'm moving on to my blush and for blush I use the um Milani Bake Blush in the shade 02 Rose Dioro I don't know what that's it. And I just used that on a Real Techniques blush brush. And then after I got my face under my eyes set, I went in with that um, parallel shade from the ABH Prism palette to go under my waterline, under my bottom lash line. And now we highlight. Sometimes I highlight, sometimes I don't. This is one of those days I was going all in and I was using the ABH Sun Dipped Palette. Now this I know for a fact you can get still. And I went in with the shades 
bronze and summer and I try to mix those and I just put them on the high points of my face um so my cheekbones the top of my eyebrow kind of towards my temple and down the bridge of my nose and then I followed it up with the make L'Oreal L'Oreal and Fallible Spray and this is something that I've been doing for a while instead of just like letting it dry down or like using the fan I will go in with my sponge my real sponge the bottom of it and kind of press that setting spray in it's just it does it does something hit different y'all okay lips this is the star of the show for me second to the eye look but the lips really set this look off for me so I take this um Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty liner in the shade of um, round out and I used it to trace my lips to outline my lips and this liner was smooth so pretty just so luscious I fantastic give me a 14 of them right now I need to go back and get some more okay so after I put my liner on I topped it off with the elf lip oil in the shade honey talks and I thought this was gonna do something for me but it really did not and yeah so you can see my face I'm like mm -mm. so I went in with the Fenty Beauty um, gloss balm in the shade hot chocolate fantasy now I love this it looks so pretty it did just what I needed it to do and it really just set that look up okay I really like this look I really like the lip I really like the makeup gives oh I have not been like this glam in a minute so it's like you that girl you look like that girl you look like that girl I love it 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 okay let's go get dressed first off let's get a close-up of the makeup look so you can get all the details all of it all of it all of it all of it so let's get into it Okay, so let's go get dressed. Okay, so this is one of my favorite looks I've ever put together to date. I wanted to keep this look really fun, really summery, and a little edgy, and kind of prepare myself to transition for fall. So for this look, I styled this dress. It's actually a dress from my brand exclusive the label over some Calvin Klein jeans that I thrifted. They're actually men's jeans, and I love how they fit on me. So this was perfect for this look. I paired those two together with this black bag that I got from TJ Maxx. It's actually from a pretty nice brand. It's a quite nice quality bag, so I'll link them down below and just match those up with some um, black kitten heels. And yeah, that was pretty much my look. It's my favorite look to date. And let me know what y'all think. I loved it. All right, y'all. That is the full makeup and outfit. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite part of this video. If you want to see more like this, please let me know in the comments below, and I will do my best to get some type of this kind of video out to y'all. I don't really go out like that that often, but I can come up with some occasions to get dressed for. Okay, so yeah. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope y'all come back for the next video.